Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Worsef, and this is uh, One Punch Man Road to Hero 2.0, and I've been playing this game for quite some time now, and I'm very much enjoying it, guys. So the purpose of this video is to introduce some of the best characters in the game to you guys. As you can see, I've unlocked mainly all of them, except for four characters that I've missed. So I've been reading through their kits. I've been using a bunch of different ones here. I'll show you guys my team at the end of the video. But for now, I'll just talk about some of the best characters in the game in each faction, right? I'll give you maybe this way. If you're just starting off in the game, you'll have a beginning step of which characters you should kind of work on. And then as you get better throughout the game, you can make your own choices on what teams you want to go. Just keep in mind that team synergy is very important. All right. So uh, although some characters may seem really, really powerful in this faction, you don't have a rainbow aura on this faction. So it's very difficult for now. Maybe they'll introduce that later on. I'm not really sure what they're doing. But for now, you need at least three characters of a certain faction in order to get some kind of an aura so i recommend doing three characters of a certain faction and then two of another one so let's begin the video with that in mind we'll talk about the legendary faction right now because there's only one character in there and it's boros very rare character to find you can get him through your summonings but the main attraction of boros guys is he is the legendary faction which means that this guy can be implemented into any team and he's going to give you that extra bonus of the faction so if you're running a three-man high-tech team you put boros in there it becomes a four high tech team and so on and so forth so keep that in mind his abilities are pretty cool his ultimate just does a ton of damage and it ignores defense uh his passive ability here is also really cool because he's going to get a shield and every time he removes a debuff he gets five percent of extra shield of, of his max hp so pretty cool tank as you get later on in the game he just does a ton of damage like i said before it's very rare character to find in the game so i would recommend maybe possibly waiting till you get three to four copies of them before you can start really working on them uh you know on your team but keep that in mind boris one of the best characters in the game let's move on to the next one all right so we're gonna begin off with the high tech faction here guys and they've got a ton of pretty good characters that we can choose from here so in total they have seven mythical characters three of the epic and uh, the two common we don't really talk about common characters because you're not really going to use them okay so if you're going to go for the high tech faction guys the three main characters that you really want to focus on are right at, there at the top child emperor metal knight and genos there those are the top three characters uh metal knight is a massive massive damage dealer in this game he just does a ton of damage guys and his ultimate is a massive aoe that does a ton of damage every single opponent in the battlefield so he is incredible i love using him i've got him on my team right now and i just love metal knight he's awesome child emperor and genos are support characters talking about child emperor here so his ultimate ability is actually a little bit of rng involved because he selects five targets it could be your opponents or it could be your side of the field and uh, if it's your allies they're gonna get 20 percent rage and increase their attack by 10 percent for two rounds and if it's your uh opponents they will take 50 percent damage and have a 30 percent chance to be stunned for one round and once you get this to level three the stun goes up to 50 percent which is pretty high uh in my opinion there guys so he's got a stun ability with his ultimate his passive is a healing ability he's also got a knockdown ability and also reduces rage so really cool kit for child emperor here let's take a look at genos real quick here and talk about him so what i love about him is his passive mainly uh when the battle begins three random allies increase their attack by 20 percent for one round and at level two this also grants 10 percent rage to the allies whose attack has been increased so really cool ability there and also his other abilities especially his ultimate here just does a bunch of damage guys which i actually really enjoy and i like about him because not only is he a support character but also deals damage that that's what makes him one of the best supports in the game here if you wanted a fourth high-tech character here i would probably recommend armored gorilla he's one of the best uh tanks in the game guys he does a bunch of different stuff here so first of all let's talk about his uh normal ability here he's got a pretty decent amount of chance 35 percent chance to uh, stun which is really cool here from a tank he taunts uh, and then as well as bounces deflects a bunch of the damage 60% of the damage bounces back which is a lot of damage right there and then another stun ability here with lightning raid uh, that goes up to 50% of level 2 so really really awesome and then the shields here just make him survive a lot longer so he would be my fourth pick for the high tech uh, faction here and the other three here blue fire dr guinness and fukagayo there they're overall they're decent characters but the first four that i mentioned are definitely the top options of this faction here and then it's the other three all right so let's move on to the next faction all right so we're in the weapons faction here guys and they've got a couple of pretty good characters here that i really like using uh let's begin off with one of the best characters in actually the whole game metal bat this guy is incredible one of the best tanks in the game so metal bat is pretty cool because first of all his normal ability here has a 50 percent chance to lower your opponent's defense for two turns that right off the bat guys uh, a mass defense down is awesome and then his uh, ultimate ability here it hits a whole column for a ton of damage here and also recovers a bunch of his damage 
so that's also another great ability here a knockdown ability with bat swing while increasing his critical chance here is awesome and then his last ability here the lower his hp the higher his attack but not only that when he gets hit to a critical point uh unyielding uh is activated which means he basically survives with one hp and then if you get this to level three unyielding uh goes for two turns which is pretty sick because it's very hard to take this guy out in a battle and while he's while you're doing that he's also hitting you plus recovering hp so definitely one of the best tanks in the game guys you should definitely work on metal bat there so let's talk about speedo sonic here speedo sonic is uh, also one of the best damage dealers in the game especially for this faction but overall in general he just does a ton of damage so i'll quickly just break down the rest of these characters here like this so speed of sonic is a uh top tier when it comes to damage dealing and then the other character in this faction that's also really cool is a golden ball he just does also a ton of damage in the game he's just pure dps guys his ultimate ability here just shoots a barrage of bullets attacking all enemies in all directions here just does a ton of damage here his passive is increasing his crit chance by a ton so his crit chance is increased by 30 percent his crit hit damage increased by 50 percent so he's going to be critting quite a bit here and just doing basically damage all over the place here so he's one of the top tier damage dealers in the game and it's kind of weird because this faction actually has two of the best damage dealers in the entire game right here with golden ball and speedo sonic and then one of the best tanks in the game with metal bat as well so uh i kind of like this faction because of these three, three characters there everybody else is not really that great a lot of them are actually just situational for different things in the game but th those are my top three suggestions for this faction right here so let's move on to the next one all right so now we're moving on to the physical faction let's get physical physical i want to get physical and we've got a couple of really great characters here as well so let's talk about silver fang bang he's one of the better characters in the game guys one of the best characters in the game if i'd say so myself i just love silver fang here let's take a look at his abilities real quick his normal ability just does damage also gives him parry and then also increases his parry for 30 percent here his ultimate uses masterful fist style to attack random enemies for five hits dealing 360 uh, attack damage in total and then at level two this ability is going to attack the opponent with the lowest uh hp percent and then a level three if he kills the opponent with the lowest hp then he's gonna get 20 percent increase in his attack so that's why his attack scales pretty high guys he's gonna hit the you know what i mean he's gonna hit the opponent with the lowest hp most likely kill him and then increase his attack by 20 percent and keep going on and so on and so forth so that is an insane ability right there i really like that quite a bit and then his third ability is going to make his normal attacks guaranteed to levitate and then it hits levitated enemies uh dealing 100 attack damage increases his parry by 20 percent for two rounds another great ability there let's take a look at his passive receives a shield every two rounds can reduce damage taken to zero in the next one attack so pretty awesome here reducing incoming damage to zero and then a level two every time parry or protection effect is activated he's going to recover 10 rage so as you can see from his other abilities he has parry quite a bit and then a level three not only that but he also counters attacks causing 120 percent attack damage so all in all uh i just love this guy here so it all depends on how lucky you get with the summon guys if you're able to get him quite a bit make sure that you're working on silver fang for sure also in this faction you got some of the best support characters uh in the whole game guys you got super alloy uh black luster hkam uh we've got purry purry prisoner and lightning max some of those all those characters are actually very cool support characters super alloy uh black luster he's basically a tank support he's gonna add shields to your entire team which comes in handy Hanson common on my mask uh try saying that three times in a row but uh he's just a healer he's a healer he's got a, a stun on his normal ability there so that is also pretty uh handful there hurry hurry uh prisoner he's a support when it comes to increasing your allies attack if you can get him high enough this guy's gonna increase your accuracy and attack of all your allies and finally lightning blade he's a sweet sweet character guys this guy reduces your opponent's defense uh basically for two turns so they receive 20 percent extra damage for two turns but not only that whoever applies the finishing blow on your opponent gets a uh, 40 extra rage plus also a 10 percent crit chance so a lot of good things happening from lightning max there so uh, depending on what you need on your team guys uh you can choose which support you want to go with and then the other characters in this faction uh, we've got carnage kabuto there and we've got tank top master two of the better tanks in the game as well tank top master i would say is a little better than carnage kabuto in my opinion so you can go with whichever one you want so those are your tanks there and then beast king uh is probably the last option i would roll with on this 
faction here just because i think the other characters are all better than that but that's basically the breakdown of uh the physical faction here guys let's move on to the last faction so the psyche faction is an unbelievable faction guys they've got some of the best characters in the game and some of the worst characters in the game as well all right let's talk about terrible tornado i love her she is an incredible character she just does a ton of damage here guys uh let's take a look at her abilities here normal ability just attacks uh enemies with three hits dealing 80 percent damage and then just a ton more damage skill increases to 110 percent percent a level five or ultimate ability just does an aoe massive attack uh four times to each enemies uh, causing 50 percent damage and also the more you can combo this it increases her attack by five percent and then combo increases it and then a level three combo increases by one which means she's going to get even higher percent damage and then here's where i really like her quite a bit here because she increases your ally with the highest attack they, uh, she increases attack and crit chance which is great and then at level two she increases two allies with the highest uh attack and crit chance so it is fantastic here i mean the support plus dps character in the game her last ability her passive ability here increases crit chance by 20 percent and then 30 percent at level three so just a ton of crit while you got her on the field here and uh honestly man she i just love her i didn't get really that lucky with her and i'll show you guys my team as soon as i'm done here but man i wish i had more copies of her because i would love to have her uh leveled up quite a bit here another character that's really great in this faction here is uh mosquito girl she's just a great character because she's a tank but also just does a lot of different things here so her normal attack does uh silence for two rounds her ultimate ability just summons mosquitoes and they just deal damage so it's a dot damage ability also she recovers health from it so overall she's just a great character as well i didn't get lucky with her either but man i wish i had a little more copies of her as well because she i would love to use her as well hellish blizzard is a great character but i might recommend she is mainly for pvp purposes only guys she just removes debuffs from your opponents does aoe damage she's a great character but mainly for pvp don't really use her much anywhere else uh in the game especially boss battles or anything like that so that's mainly what you want to use her for and then gurigan shoop is just decent he's not a great character melzagard is a good tank so uh that's the tank you want to run for in this faction here we talked about her uh vaccine man i don't have and uh kombu infinity i really have it not unlocked yet so don't really have any you know experience with them i know that sky king sucks you don't really want to work on sky king so that's basically the gist of all those uh characters in the psychic faction let's take a look at what i've got in my team right now guys so this is basically what i've got in my entire team i've got a lot of different options here that i can go though i got a lot of elite pluses and elite characters that i'm gonna roll with i'm not sure exactly what direction i'm gonna go with yet but uh it's looking like high tech for sure because seeing as i got some of the best high tech characters in the game and then i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with the rest of the characters here i'll show you uh, where i'm at in the campaign i'm at 828 right now uh level 45 so this is basically what i've got in my account i'll make progress videos as we go on here and hopefully this will help you guys out in making some decisions on which characters you guys want to work on all right so i'm gonna end it off here and i will catch you guys on the next video till then have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night, and good night. And good night. And good night. And good night. And good night.